Teacher Talk at Sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. I previously did Mount Rushmore's during off seasons of MLB, NBA, NFL, and NHL, in which I attempted to name the four best players in franchise history, in my opinion. Well, with MLB currently in their offseason, now I'm doing the Mount Rushmore's by positions. I've done catchers, I've done first baseman. Today's video will be second baseman. So in this, I attempt to name the four best second baseman in MLB history and subjective list. Let me know in the comments at the end who you would have included uh, for, to, in order to be eligible. The player must have made at least 50% of their starts while manning second base. I'll name the players in alphabetic order by last name. They are not ranked, and I'll name a bunch of honorable mentions at the end. Let's get into it, starting with Eddie Collins. Eddie Collins' career began all the way back in 1906. Ended up playing parts of 25 seasons in 2,826 games. Batted 333 with an 853 OPS 142 OPS plus 47 homers, 1,299 RBIs, 1,821 hit runs, 3,315 hits in his career. Collins was the 1914 AL MVP, also was the runner-up twice, finished third twice, fifth once, and sixth once. He led the league in runs, scored three straight seasons from 1912 to 1914. Those three seasons were... Uh, three of seven in which he scored over 100 runs. Collins had three seasons in which he led the league in stolen bases. When you look at the all-time list of MLB players, he places 12th all-time with his 3,315 hits. He places 18th all-time with his 1,821 runs. And he places... 19th all-time with his 1,499 walks, also 8th all-time with his 741 stolen bases. Collins was a member of six World Series winning teams, although he only played in four of those. I uh, played in three with the Athletics and one with the White Sox. In the World Series, he batted 328 altogether. Eddie Collins is the first member of the second baseman, Mount Rushmore. Next, another old, old-timer, that being Rogers Hornsby, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 19... 19... No, not 1916, 1942, sorry. Um, Collins, excuse me, Hornsby began his career in 1915, played parts of 23 seasons in 2,259 games, batted 358 with a 1,010 OPS, 175 OPS plus, 301 homers, 1,584 RBIs, 1,579 hits, runs, 2,930 hits, 541 doubles. If you look at his baseball reference page, it is littered with black ink. He led the league in batting average seven times, on base percentage nine times, slugging percentage nine times, OPS 11 times, homers twice, RBIs four times, doubles four times, hits four times, runs five times. Just an extraordinary hitter in his career. Um, he was named the National League MVP in 1925 and 1929. Also had finishes of second and third in his career. Uh, twice won the Triple Crown in the National League. Was also a member of the 1926 World Series winning St. Louis Cardinals. Rogers Hornsby, the second member of the second baseman Mount Rushmore. Next, and the most recent of the four, and it's been a while since he played. Fortunately, he passed away a little over two years ago. Uh, may have known him as an ESPN analyst after his playing career. That being Joe Morgan. Uh, Joe Morgan inducted into Hall of Fame in 1990. Uh, began his career in 1963. Played parts of 22 seasons in 2,649 games. Batted 271 with an 819 OPS, 132 OPS plus. 268 homers, 1,133 RBIs, 1,650 runs scored, 2,517 hits, and 689 stolen bases. Uh, Joe Morgan was a back-to-back -back NL MVP while with the Reds. 
1975 and 1976. In both those seasons, he led the league in both on base percentage and OPS. Uh, he also walked a ton, 1,865 walks compared to just 1,015 strikeouts. Morgan had eight seasons of, excuse me, uh, yes, eight seasons with at least 100 runs, uh, including six in a row from 1972 to 1977. Had four seasons of at least 20 homers. Uh, an excellent hitter throughout his career. Was a member of two big red machine teams that won the World Series. Um, so just was a vital part of those teams. Uh, was named to 10 All-Star teams in his career, won a Silver Slugger in 1982, won five straight gold gloves from 1973 and 1977 as a second baseman. So not only was he great with the bat, he was excellent in the field as well. Joe Morgan, the third member of the second baseman, Mount Rushmore. And let's end with one of the most historic figures in Major League Baseball history, and oh yeah, he was a excellent player as well. Jackie Robinson, uh, we know his backstory, uh, broke the color barrier back in 1947, ended up playing 10 seasons, all with the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1,382 games, batted 311 with an 883 OPS, 132 OPS plus, 137 homers, 734 RBIs, 947 runs scored, and 197 stolen bases. Robinson was named the National League Rookie of the Year in 1947, and two years later, he was named the National League MVP in a season in which he led the league in batting at 342 as well. Robinson also had MVP finishes of 5th, 6th, and 7th in his career. Twice he led the league in stolen bases in seven straight seasons from 1947 to 1953. He scored at least 99 runs. And in six of those seasons, he had at least 104 runs scored, had double-digit homer totals every season, but 1955 uh, was a member of the 1955 Brooklyn Dodgers team that won the World Series. Jackie Robinson, of course, uh, would have had much better counting numbers if he was allowed to come into the big leagues at an earlier age, uh, did not make his major league debut until he was 28 years old, but he's a guy who will forever live on in the sport. Uh, his number 42 is retired uh, throughout baseball, but not just that, he was an amazing player and definitely deserving to be on this second baseman, Mount Rushmore. So again, in alphabetical order by last name, our second baseman, Mount Rushmore, is Eddie Collins, Rogers Hornsby, Joe Morgan, and Jackie Robinson. Honorable mentions, a bunch of them, including Craig Biggio, Jose Altuve, Dustin Pedroia, Ryan Sandberg, Chase Utley, Jeff Kent, Robinson Cano, Roberto Alomar, Charlie Garinger, Lou Whitaker, and Nap Lajoie. Uh, Lajoie also played a very long time ago. And I considered him alongside Eddie Collins. That was my fourth choice uh, between the two of them. I ended up giving Collins the edge because he played for four World Series teams. Well, I believe Nap Lajoie did not win any World Series, but an amazing hitter. I mean, Cleveland actually changed their team name to the Naps uh, because of him. But there you have it. The... Second baseman, Mount Rushmore. Again, let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree, who you would have included. Tomorrow, we will move on to shortstop, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.